Up to now, it is hard to tell that Chadwick Boseman is out of our sight. The whole world is mourning for him. You've seen the movies he has acted in. He has been humble, intelligent, and a man of integrity. To God be the glory. Look at the beautiful day he gave us to come together. First, condolences, heartfelt condolences to family of Mr. Chadwick Boseman. Say it loud. Say it loud. <laughs> There's been so many great things said about Chadwick Boseman. When he got the role to play my father and get on up, he came to Augusta, Georgia, spent the weekend with us, sat and spoke in long conversation with my mom, who was portrayed by Jill Scott in the movie, me and my sister, and other friend, family and friends because he wanted truth. He wanted to get truth. He read, he studied. He said he, he studied, he saw so much footage. And, but coming to Augusta, Georgia to sit down and talk to us was the key. We teased him. We told him he was a little too tall <laughs> to, to be the godfather. But he laughed, we laughed, and he said, but I'm going to make y'all proud. And God knows he did. He made us very proud. When I met him, he was, he was just coming off, of course, 42. But when he came to Augusta, he was just dressed in his jeans and t-shirt. It wasn't Hollywood, and I love that about him. It was just Chadwick from Anderson, South Carolina, wanting to know more about the Godfather of Soul. So we spent time with him, taking him around, showing him where Dad grew up, where he went to school, where we lived, where he had businesses, told him different things about Dad's mannerisms and little nuances, and he took everything we told him, and he used it because we saw it. To give you an example, there's one part in the film towards the end where he's got a red suit on and he's walking down a hallway headed to the stage from the dressing room. And I tell you, he had that, that walk. <laughs> he had that James Brown stride. <laughs> but I tell you, every time I see it, it I, I, chill bumps, I, I, I just... I, it amazes me how this young man just threw his whole mind, body, soul, and spirit in everything he did. And it made me feel good that he didn't waste that trip coming to speak with us. He took everything we gave him and used it. We miss him in the natural. It hurts. When I saw the information Friday night, Mayor Roberts, I, I couldn't sleep. I didn't sleep Friday night because I looked at him as a younger brother, although he played my father. He kept in touch with my son. Him and my son worked together on the film. And he would say, you know, mom, this, this, this dude's cool. He's not, he's not here for all that, that, that Hollywood stuff. He's, he's here to be real and true to the character. He told my son, he says, you know, people got to work. They got to come here and make their money and take care of their families. He says, but this is your family's history. 
this is important to your family and your family's future. So we got to get this right. We got to put as much truth to this as we can. And he did. He did that. And he did it at an excellent level. Because to me, he is the epitome of black excellence. How could he play those roles and be ill? <laughs> it's a testament of his faith. It's a testament to how he was raised. He was given the right foundation. So being in Hollywood was no phase to him because he knew whose he was. And, and it's no cliche that he was spiritual because you saw that in his speeches when he spoke. You heard it. He talked profoundly. <laughs> you saw the hand of God on this man's life. He exemplified the power of God moving in his life. We all here, aren't we? Because of Chadwick Boseman, because of what God placed in him and what he gave back to all of us. We are here. He stood boldly. Can you imagine the weight he carried? Playing the icons he had to play, learning and doing the research of the icons he did? Forget about the artistry and what you saw on the screen. He had to take in everything that he learned from the Robinson family, from Mrs. Robinson, from who told him about Marshall, and from us. And black first superhero, black superhero. The weight that he had to carry, knowing what he knew about these people, I didn't know Mr. Robinson. I did not know Mr. Marshall. But I knew James Brown. And I knew what he put in, what Chadwick Boseman put into that role. Was all of the blessing that God put in him all of the talent and skill that he took the time to learn. The inspiration that he is to these young, these young kids out here all over the world, of all colors, of all races, of all cultures. Eight years old and a young boy having a funeral for his superhero Black Panther. That's going to go with him for the rest of his life. Chadwick Boseman will be with us for years and years and years to come because he's going to live in these little children. There's a Chadwick Boseman out here right now. God bless his soul. God bless his life. God bless his wife and family, mother and father and family, and God bless his community, because this is love. This is love, this is respect. And you're showing your, the young children just what to do when you have someone like Chadwick Boseman give his life and do what he did exemplify excellence this is what we want our children to see